Now I know what you're thinking, couldn't I technically have checked the instruction book for that? Well, I think they're giving the people who bought this game a little too much credit. Like that they can read. Alright, so what's the throwing combo? L and B. Well, B's the jumping button, so that's already confusing, but let's see if I can knock them out faster. Come here, you little fuck bunnies. Come here! Finally. So how many hits does it take to kill them with a weapon? Three. The exact same amount if you just uppercut them. Well then what the fuck's the point of having a weapon then? I don't know, who gives a shit? Let's just move on to the next level. House of Glass. Okay, so this should be at least a little bit of fun. Alright, so there's a baby dropping some glasses and a guy catching him at the bottom. Okay, well good luck with that. I'm gonna see where the real adventure is. I can't leave the screen. Great, so I guess this is the adventure part. What a fucking load. Alright, so do I catch these things too? No, they hurt you, so you want to stay away from them. Do I stop this guy? Well, I can't seem to, so that's not it. Do I stop the baby? Well, I can't reach him or climb up the shelves, so what the fuck do I do? Oh, you break the glass? Well, how the fuck am I supposed to figure that out? Oh, great, now I'm out of time. I really hate that fucking timer. So I guess I have to start over and break the glass again, right? What?! They start me all the way back at the beginning of the fucking game?! Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, so I gotta go through all this shit again and make it to the glass shop. By the way, that's just incredible music, isn't it? I mean, fuck the Mario games and Legend of Zelda for having actual themes and melodies. All you need is five notes repeated over and over and over. Fucking ingenious. Okay, here I am again. And in case you missed it, you have to somehow break the glass without actually touching it. This is sounding like a goddamn zen riddle. I should also point out that you can only punch once while in the air. So why is the baby dropping more than one glass at a time? It's not like you can hit it. God, fuck it, let's just get this over with. Alright, so I finally beat the glass level. What's next? HOLY HELL! IT'S THE EXACT SAME LEVEL AGAIN?! Okay, so you go through all this bullshit again, back off you little dick cheese, and you get to the next level, which is... a haunted house. F fun. Here you have to battle mummies, damn annoying bats, and pictures that blow smoke rings at you. Why? I don't know. I stopped bringing logic into this long ago. So not only is this place filled with creepy ghouls and goblins, but it's also a fucking maze! Oh, that's just great. So you have to go in and out of these doors in order to get your way out of the house. But this is damn near impossible seeing how every single room looks exactly the same. How am I supposed to remember which room I've been in? There's one part where you're pretty much trapped in this room and you have to find a way out. There's this black thing here, I guess it's supposed to be a mirror. Can I do something here? Doesn't seem to do anything. There's this weird animated picture of what looks like Spider-Man swinging by. Am I supposed to catch a ride with him? Please, Spider-Man, get me out of this hellhole! What am I supposed to do? The clock is ticking, I have no idea what to do! Do you want me to read a book? Will that make you happy, you little... How the fuck am I supposed to fix? Never mind! Let's just get the hell out of here. Well, wait a minute. How come sometimes when I go through a bookcase, I end up in a different room than I did before? Well, apparently, going to the left side of the bookcase drops you off in one room, and going to the right side of the bookcase drops you off in another. That's just impossible! I mean, think about it! If a bookcase opens up, it spins around in a circle. So that means that there can only be one room, because if there's a wall separating the two rooms, the bookcase wouldn't open! So how can it lead to two separate rooms? It can't, babies, kids! It just can't! Apparently there's this weird dildo thing at the top of the screen that slowly changes to red the closer you get to the exit. But so far it's just been blue because I have no idea how to get out of this place. God, how am I supposed to get out of here? Every room looks exactly the same. <sighs> ah, still blue. Still blue. Wait a minute. It's changing. It's changing color! Alright, let me try over here. Ah, blue, damn it! And I can't go back in this fucking door! Let me try it again. Blue. Blue. <gasps> it's changing! It's changing! There it goes! It's getting darker! Oh my god, it's almost red! I knew it! I knew I could do it! I knew I could pull it off!
you think this is going to get rid of me, angry video game nerd, you are much mistaken. Sure, I will need years of psychological therapy to recover from this, but that doesn't mean you've heard the last of me. All I can say, angry video game nerd, is fuck this game and fuck you for making me play it! Easy angry video game. Oh, shut up! Critic.